I want to give you some clarity on how to start the first steps in finding influencers inside of Modash. When you're first getting started running that first search, you usually want to start with two key filters. One is follower range. We can all understand that pretty easily, I think. And the second one is the audience location. So where exactly should the audience be? If your audience is global, if your marketing campaign spans many countries, then I suggest running your search based on whichever city would be most ideal to target in your first influencer activation. If you don't apply an audience location in your first search, it can really broaden the search in such a way that you won't find those diamonds in the rough, the true blue influential creators in your space. Now we've only added two filters, but Already, it's time to click find influencers. We do this to quickly understand how our search is performing and adjust quickly rather than wasting our time adding filters that are only over narrowing our search results. If your search results are too narrow, you can go ahead and expand the follower range or reduce the percentage of the target audience that must be in the city in your filter. Modash lists every single creator on earth. There's 200 million creators inside of the Modash database. So your perfect creator is in there. It's just about learning how to tinker with the search to find the perfect result. So what if you've added these two filters and there's still way too many results? Well then you can go ahead and start adding some performance oriented filters. For example, let's go ahead and add a 1% engagement rate. This should kind of be our floor for how low engagement rate is with our target creators. And now if we still have a ton of results, we can add less than 25% fake followers. This is gonna maximize our reach in a real engaged audience. Now we click find influencers and wow, still tons of results. Usually you won't need to apply this many filters to get a really narrow search. At this point, when you have a lot of results and you've applied these search filters, it's really about what's most important to you and about choosing an authentic creator for your campaign or activation. Some filters are gonna have a way more drastic impact on the number of search results than others. For example, we talk heavily in another video about finding influencers with really restrictive filters like bio and keywords and hashtags. These filters are great if your product doesn't have that mass market, anybody can use this and everyone understands it type of appeal and you need to find someone who can truly represent the unique value prop of your product from a trusted point of view. Alternatively, maybe the gender filter is the best choice if your target audience kind of leans towards one specific gender. You definitely only want to use one of those niching filters at a time. So let's recap. First, we're going to add our follower and audience range. Then, if we have lots of results, we're going to layer on some performance indicators like engagement rate and fake followers. Finally, if we still have lots of results, we can think about adding another filter that's important to us, such as the bio filter. At the end of the day, sometimes search engines are about tinkering and figuring out what works best for you and your specific needs. Make sure you're layering your searches slowly so you can learn what works for you. Thanks so much for checking out this video and the others in the series. I really think that you should check out the one with our six tips on finding filters and also lookalikes if you haven't already. I'm Avery, I'm the founder at Modash, and I'm so grateful that you took the time to watch this video. Have a lovely day.